all right this is the cane video where we will get the remaining complete completion marks uh, for him we are starting off with uh, blue baby and mega satan also isaac isaac is still missing as well um yeah i will i will skip over most parts uh, like we get a few really nice items um i will also show the full angel fights but the rest is pretty basic by now we have seen that a couple of times so i don't really think that i need to like show it in full length again uh, we don't get many great items early on especially the devil dudes are not as nice as i would have liked them to be but that gets uh, it gets pretty crazy uh, later on but uh, you you will see that for yourself anyway we are uh, well, sadly fighting with unknown health on this floor so i had to keep track in my head how much health we actually had because it was somewhat close i was thinking about picking up uh, either guppy's collar or little brimstone but decided against it because i really wanted the key pieces um, we got a blood bag, we got a halo, so our health issues have had been cleared at this point. And now we should fight the first angel, yes. Very nice. So I think this fight goes pretty smooth, I don't think we take any damage. Uh, this is the easy angel though, so the second one is a little bit more difficult. Yeah, that was pretty quick and easy. And I was really hoping for the seven soul hearts but uh, the coins aren't bad either so um, I'm not complaining um, I'm running around a lot but uh, I don't feel feel uh, fine very much I think I was pretty low at this point I was probably at like one heart or something like that so maybe I'm pretty sure I had more health I'm not sure but we don't take too much damage in this fight I think we take damage once and one time it is really close, yeah, like this. I didn't take damage here, and that was crazy. But we should take damage very soon. Did we take damage? I didn't even see it. Anyway. Um, also, we are filling up the uh, donation machine. We got another store upgrade, which is really nice for the upcoming runs. Um, this is the video how I finished Kane, but I've also recorded how I finished the game with Azazel. I'm not sure who's next. Maybe Judas. Maybe we'll play a character that we haven't played yet. We're also getting pretty close to unlocking Keeper by doing the uh, Greedia mode. I accidentally uh, destroyed the Angel statue and had to fight the Angel again. You don't get anything out of that except maybe like a room completion and a pickup drop. But I don't think that's the case actually. You probably just get nothing. And now we get our first really big item. Um, I'm not talking about the second uh, ball of benches, I'm talking about the item from the angel room. And we had uh, three choices, I, I had absolutely no idea what was uh, what any of these items are. And I just went for the item in the middle and it was crown of light. Doubles our damage as long as we have full red hearts and haven't taken any damage in the room yet. Which makes the upcoming clearing process a lot easier um, also the boss fights are a lot easier as well and that was that was really lucky uh, later on we get a, the probably best item from the angel room that we can get at the moment you will see that in a second for yourself that's probably like in, in the room like i think the first room floor i'm not exactly sure anyway we are getting a few items uh, our damage is looking really good now before that it was good but not crazy good this is like really good and another blood bag we are we are looking really strong right now um i could have probably beaten most bosses with this but uh, the mega satan kill is uh, nice to have i think mega satan is not that difficult to beat but getting there is actually like difficult and here we get sacred heart um a damage multiplier, raw damage, homing tears, uh, full heal, another heart container, absolutely crazy. Look at this, now we are on 40 damage. Like that's absolutely insane. 
I was trying to break the game with the blank card and the general room, but uh, it didn't really result in anything, so we are skipping over most of that. You can see some of the rooms are completely filled with batteries and hearts, but we can't really do anything with them, except that we basically have infinite health on uh, this floor, but we don't need that anyway. Uh, I don't think we have flight, funnily enough, but we don't need it as well. A lot of my hearts, yeah, I'm doubling that. And I tried to go for some soul hearts so that we can ensure having full red hearts on the upcoming floors. Um, just in case we should take damage in some of the rooms. But we are getting through pretty nicely. We have almost 40 damage which is very rarely seen. And here we have the Isaac fight. Um, he dies pretty quick. Not super quick. We will see something uh, funny later on. But I like the Isaac fight to be honest. I think it's uh, it's not an easy fight because you get a lot more powerful once you go to the chest. And I talked about this a few times before, but I think the blue bee baby fight is a lot easier than Isaac. So here we use the uh, Jarrow Rune in combination with the Blank Heart to clone the chests and all of them will are guaranteed to have an item so we get a lot more free items on this floor. But we will do it once more uh, in just a few seconds to get an even crazier tier damage combination. So we are clearing these rooms really fast. Some of these bosses are actually somewhat difficult or have a lot of health. And we're just really, really powerful. I will take damage in this room. I always take damage in this room. Uh, once they shoot the homing brimstone laser, it's like game over. Anyway, I think we'll go back. Yeah, we copy it again. I know we pick up a lot of items. Another damage multiplier. We're on 60 now. Like, look at this. That's crazy. Um, I try to avoid everything that uh, would change our tiers. Like, I think I find Ipecac. Yes, in a second. Um... I talked about this a few times before, but I prefer to have like the normal tier effect. I think that's a lot more fun than having like the one mom knife or one brimstone. Uh, also, I'm avoiding monster slung, which is a fun item, but again, I, I like to have the normal tiers. Um, yes. I was going to say something, but I forgot about it. We're getting really powerful here getting really really nice items even more damage and like this is absolutely crazy all right i think i don't pick up much more yeah i know i'm trying to find the uh, blue baby boss fight because we are still missing that uh, complete mark for kane kane runs usually go very very well for me i don't know he, he is my favorite character for no reason but i do really like the d6 but kane is kane is a lot of fun he's really fast he's strong he has a key that's something that that's really nice to have so we should be getting close to the uh, blue baby fight right i think one or two more rooms I can't even see anything. Yes. Oh yes, yes, now we are getting close. I think two more rooms. Yes, that's it. And now we go to the blue baby fight. I think in original speed as well. And that's it. All right, now we can go on. We got our completion mark done. And we got a full health peel. pill. Uh, we don't need that. Spoiler alert. But um, now we're going for the Mega Satan fight, and I will have the original commentary for that. Let's take the magic unicorn with us. Alright, time for the boss fight. Bye. Can you see something? Can you see something? Ok, 
Can you see something? Interesting boss fight, right? Kane's eye has appeared. And Green Baby. Very nice. Now it's voiceover time again. And this time we will try to defeat Hush and uh, Delirium. Um, Kane again has pretty good uh, early game. Pretty strong. Pretty fast. And he has a key. So that's really nice to have. Um, I don't think we see anything special here early on. Like the interesting stuff ha happens towards the end. Mm, I wanted to talk a little bit about how, I am, how I'm editing the videos. Um, I think I will stick with this style where I speed up all the stuff that is not as important or we have seen a couple of times before and if something new or interesting happens I will go ahead and slow the footage down or maybe use the original footage. Um, otherwise I think this is really nice because I have the full run included but we are not wasting too much time on it, right? So as you can see we found the short range mega tiers, that's a nice damage up. Um, Sack hat is pretty nice. And this, yeah, exactly. At this point, we unlock the small rock. You need to blow up 100 tinted rocks to unlock this item. It's a small damage up and reduces your speed a little bit. Um, pretty solid item, and you find it quite a lot if you blow up tinted rocks. So, that's great to have. We found the uh, Book of Revelations for some great sustain. And now we find. Conquest. I think that's the first time that we fight this boss in this mode after we unlocked him. I'm not exactly sure about this. And we find his uh, white pony. Um, I take it with me because it gives you flight. And the active ability is a dash and you spawn the same lights uh, Conquest can spawn. The lights do a lot of damage and the charge attack itself is not too bad either. But I mainly took the item for the flight. So now we should get uh, pretty close to the mom fight, we defeat mom, gather halo and I will use the original footage for uh, the hush fight, also an original speed because um, I don't deal as much damage and I can show off how I dodge the tears. So we will go to that in a second, I use the potato pillar once and then we should start with the original footage. Hush. Yeah, the range is really useful here. You can stay out of range. With our short speed, that's pretty nice. Oops. The poison is actually pretty nice against him as well. But as you can see, this will probably take a moment. I'm not sure if this is actually damage wise such a brilliant idea, but I mean that's what I decided to do. So I have to live with that decision. Uh, I think we still have our holy metal, so we're doing pretty good so far.
I'll also try to get close to get the most of our uh, damage. I'm not sure how that actually works with our uh, epic egg, but should be safe here. Yeah, looks good. He's half life. We're slowly getting there. This was safe last time, so it should be safe again. This might not be safe. Oh, this should be safe, however. Oh, I need to get away from here. Nice. Using the cubes and the ball. Get away safe. What a long fight. But we're doing not a lot of damage and I'm not taking any damage so this might be a good way to show off how to fight against him. Uh, you can't damage him when he's doing that but I just keep firing because uh, I want to use the first moment when I can hit him again. So I'm just going for that lucky hit here. Oh, we got our first hit and Holy Metal protected us. Very nice. Oh, I need to... Okay, that's strange. Oh, we got hit again. He's spamming that attack usually. Not like that. Was that it? Oh, very nice. Very nice. Alright, and here we go. So, I'm clearing the void really quick. I will also use your original footage for the delirium fight because, again, we don't deal that much damage and, would, uh, and it's nice to see how I dodge the attacks. At least I think that's interesting to see. And we're getting really close, so uh, I will mute myself again. Uh, until after the fight. There we go. I will only use the pony if we really have to. Are we even damaging him? I think we do. Oh, oh, bombs explode really fast. I can't really get close to deal as much damage as I did with uh, Hush. I think this uh, the lamb kill does not count. Oh, the first damage we take on this floor. Uh, I think the lamb kill does not count because we need to get the chest. That might be the important part here. Oh, we took damage again. It's fully healed. Get rid of some of the flies. Oh my god, that charge attack. Yes, that is the time where we need to do damage. Ah. Oh my god, he got nuked away. Oops. Oh, that's the... Oh, is that permanent? Oh, that's busted. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, we're getting quite close. Uh, low. Whoops. Can we get the delirium farm again, please? Yes. Let's do this. Oh. 
Oh no. You're getting pretty close. I'm not a big fan of this. But he's getting quite low as well. Oh, this would be a nightmare. Oh yes, 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 finish him, finish him, finish him, finish him. Very nice. This would be a nightmare to do with the lost. But here we go. Delirium kill and harsh kill first tries Kane. <laughs> Very nice. Silver dollar was the only item we got from that. And this did not count as a lamp kill. Yeah, it did not. So we are still missing the boss rush. That should be a little bit easier than <laughs> beating Harsh and Delirium. But it's still not super easy. And we also need the Gritia mode. The only thing left to do now is to defeat the lamp. Um, we're starting off with. Uh, the dead cat which gives us nine lives which will be very important in a few seconds uh, this is like a high speed footage because this is all stuff we have already seen nothing really new happens we had a few pretty good items um now we should get pretty close to the boss fight and this is where we unlock guppy so this is like the perfect usage of our 9 lives because we pick up Goated to guarantee the devil room staying open and now we just die over and over again to pick up all the items and uh, achieving the guppy transformation. The 9 lives are usually like nice to have but not really that useful except you play something like the lost for example but this is a really good way to make use of them if you play any other character who can get a lot more health. Also my playstyle usually avo um, tries to go for like pure soul hearts and make usage of the Polaroid or the negative. And that's also the case in this run. I think most runs of mine utilize like a full soul heart build. I think that's that's a really effective strategy if you know what you're doing. Anyway, we have to... Oh, we just got Tricket Set, which is another nice damage up. We also have the Nail to sustain ourselves. Really, really solid item. Um, gives you damage, a soul heart, allows you to destroy rock for the room. Very, very nice. Alright, so now we get to the... Mom fight very soon, and I think in the devil duel deal on this floor we should get a very nice item once we get there. So that's the fight. Never mind. We do the boss rush first. Very strange. I thought that happened differently. Anyway, so we are doing the boss rush and I quickly want to talk about the editing style a little bit again. Um, I talked about this before in this video, but I just wanted to, to emphasize a little bit more about the fact that 
um, I was trying a few things out. Some of the videos have like the the uh, only the important pieces in it, and I still prefer this way of doing it, having all the other stuff sped up and slowing down for like the important pieces and maybe using the original footage in that case. But I think this uh, keeps the original spirit of the game because if I just show you how I defeat a boss, like you don't really know how, what I did to get to that point. Um, I would like to upload like the full footage, but that would be like, what is that? Probably five or six hours for this video and that is like, you cannot watch that, that's way too long. So having a, how long will this video be? Probably 30, 40 minutes, definitely below an hour. I, I try to go towards half an hour, but it's very difficult, even if I speed it up a lot, because I don't want to speed it up too much. Anyway, as for the run, we are utilizing the Jarrah runes a little bit, getting two more guppy pieces, five in total for this run, so we really had guppy this time. And uh, the nail is very, very important, um, giving us a lot of health and extra damage for like uh, the boss fights. So that's very nice to have. Mm. We should get to the boss fight very soon. Yes. Anything interesting? Oh yes, now we get Brimstone. So this run is over. Uh, Guppy in itself is like very powerful if you can get it. And it's even stronger in combination with Brimstone because you spawn so much more blue flies, which in itself deal a lot of damage. So, yeah, this was a done deal at this point. So, we defeat Mom's Heart really quick, go to Sheol, defeat Satan very fast. Soon, I think. And then we go to the Dark Room. And. Then that's basically it for this part. Um, another kill for Cain, getting the Satan and the Lamb uh, completion mark. But this time I try. Uh, I thought I could try to go for the rerun achievement. Yes, please. You have to complete four reruns, like four runs in total. Then you get the rerun achievement, and then you reset that the lost, and we complete that run as well. But it, this is like highly sped up because it's not really uh, important for the cane completion. But it's another achievement that's nice to have. Um, I don't really do reruns. I do them very rarely if I have a really really nice combination and I want to, the game to go on a little bit more. That's when I do that. But usually you, you cannot really unlock anything in, uh, in the rerun. I thought you could unlock uh, the forgotten in the rerun. That's why I tried it. But you can't. We have to do that the hard way. So that will be something nice to look out for. Anyway, we are on the second rerun. So that means once we complete this one, we should restart as the lost. We have not locked the lost yet, but we should do that very soon. Um, beating the run as the lost in this case was really easy because we still had many great items, even though we lose a lot of great items um, every time we do an additional rerun. Now we are playing as we lost, by the way. You can see that because we are missing all our health. And I went for the chest kill just in case. Uh, anything goes wrong, but we have 26 uh, lives as well, so that's crazy. Oh, that was actually the lost. Oh, we do another one, but we just got the rerun achievement. Anyway, this time I do the um, chest run because we got a lot weaker. I didn't even notice, to be honest, while I was doing it that we played at the lost because I just like completely. Re obliterated every room I went into and there was no danger at all but uh, well that's funny I, I didn't know that anyway this should be done soon 
So the next thing will be the Guerrilla mode. And I will probably continue the voiceover then. The only thing we are missing now with Kane is the Guerrilla mode. And here we go. We get a pretty decent start, a little bit more damage, knockback tears, uh, tears up, a little bit of health. So that went uh, pretty well, but nothing too crazy in the shop. Um, I don't think we get anything crazy from the devil room as well, nope. And here we go, second room, more bombs, a little bit more damage, but nothing too crazy. And yeah, I'm looking for something nice, the house head looked really good. So here we go, clearing all the waves. I take a lot of damage. And... Here we go. Can you even see the shadow? I mean, if you really look for it, it was possible to see it. But because it was a champion enemy and I didn't pay enough attention, I just died to it. At one red heart. That, that really was unfortunate, but... Um, we start again in new run getting a lot uh, of damage early on and were able to clear the rooms very effectively. The car battery in combination with the Karo card attack was pretty useful. We got we get two cards every time we use it and we got quite a few good cards that were able to carry us through the early stages of the game. And here we go, getting pretty deep, pretty fast and I think at this point, we, we should get to the point where I uh, break the game. Here we found the Jarrah rune, the T20. And here we go out and break the game. We are using the Habit and the T20 strategy again. Um, that was pretty dangerous early on, but at some point it's pretty much free. Here you go. So this is our first break. And the run would have been pretty much over at this point, but something very unfortunate happens. Uh, in a few seconds but let's see how this run turns out so we get a really 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 powerful combination of tears and that's uh, our doom in the end oh we also got the bl blank card with the two of diamonds so yeah and we get a few more items and yeah, that's an issue and now look at the tears here so that already looked a little bit strange like things are acting like not as they should be. And here we go, Ultra Greed. I'm just shooting once here. That was only one shot. And uh, he completely glitched out. Um, we get into the second stage. We were able to damage him a little bit. But I know, now he's like not getting any damage anymore. And now he disappeared. And I'm not shooting, by the way. Like, I'm not shooting at all. And something really strange happens here. Because uh, if we go into the pause screen in just a second. Yeah, I'm trying to hit him here, but go to the pause screen, please. Come on. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what's happening here. Like, I know that the game crashed, but I don't want to believe it. So, let's go to the pause screen, please. Here we go. You can see tears in the background. And uh, while I was playing, I saw that that was the only thing I could see. Tears all over the screen. But somehow, uh, here you can see it again. But in the recording, that uh, you can't see it. Obviously, as I have just told you. So, here the game crashed. I tried a few times to restart it. I looked up some ways on the internet to fix this. But there doesn't seem to be a way to do it. And this is what I talked about. If you get too strong, you should pick up like Mom's Knife, Brimstone, EPK, Dr. Fetus, just to like reduce the crazy amount of tears that you have. And I was really upset, especially about myself, because I know that this is an issue, so I restarted a few times. I mean, the run was done pretty much, but the game crashed. We start off with the Magic Mushroom and some damage, and here yeah, push the chest over, blow them up. And we get Steve, and we start off the run with 10 damage before even the first wave started. And that was enough to carry me through the, like, I don't know, first five stages, pretty much. Like, it doesn't carry the complete run, but this is, this is a really good start. 
So if we keep going, we find the inner eye, which makes things even easier. We find the Jarrah rune. Keep destroying them. And I think we find the G20 very soon. Oh, Mom's Knife first. Mom's Knife and the Nail. Mom's Knife, very nice. This time I pick it up just to prevent this stupid, crazy tear stuff to happen again. Mm. Like, here he found the D20 by the way, but I think it's kind of sad that you cannot go that crazy with tears, but... I mean, it's understandable. There are so many different combinations and combos you can use, and if it goes too crazy, it, like, the game just can't handle it, and... I mean, that's something we have to live with, right? So, here we go, we break the game again. I don't think I'm doing such a crazy break this time. Just enough to, like, completely ensure that we win. Um, again, I'm not really mad about the game that it crashed. It's like, I'm angry about myself because I know that this is an issue and I ignored it anyway to go for the extreme tiers. But now we jump to the original footage for the Ultra Greed fight, right? Alright, Ultra Greed time. This should be a lot of fun. Hopefully, no break this time. Crash is what I meant to say. Nice. Oh, I took damage. Nice. That's the baby for getting... Oh, meat boy, please. For getting all hard mode achievements. Two of diamonds. Oh, that was pretty good. Alright. And that's it. And here we go, Kane is done now. Um, I talked about this a few times in this video, but Azazel is done as well. I have the complete footage, but we still, I still need to edit this video, which uh, takes some time. Anyway, if you watched this video, thank you very much. If you watched the video in full length, thank you very, very much. And until next time.